Uh, radiology of the head and neck has always been a challenge both for the uh, radiologist as well as for the surgeons. Uh, Postgraduate residents, house interns, and students of medical official uh, surgery have always found the anatomy on CD as a confusing entity. Now, during my training uh, in the uh, medical official surgery department, still I'm a trainee, and uh, uh, I found reading the anatomy on a CT as well as on the MR scans as a difficult subject which requires a massive pre-requisite knowledge and a massive amount of practice as well as background knowledge both on the trauma as well as the pathology patients to correctly interpret any scenario. Correlation with the history has always been uh, has always remained a shortcoming. Data on a CT secondly have never been found or compiled in a single book source. Uh, the CT interpretation had to be consulted in different books and, uh, to, and uh, several uh, review articles to get to a specific point. Now, uh, in addition to my limited and uh, random knowledge which I gained during my residence period in my ward uh, time period in the theaters, uh, as well as uh, <coughs> I compiled this data from uh, uh, different uh, uh, sources of journals, uh, books, uh, online lecture sources and compiled it in the form of a single uh, book. Here's the book. Uh, basically and uh, um, basically focusing and majorly focusing on the normal anatomy of the skull and the associated uh, soft tissue structures. Uh, specific pathology of the head and neck region like the sinus nasal pathologies, uh, the, uh, the predominantly you know, the domestic interspace, uh, the peripheral spaces, uh, um, the, the coronal lesions, the extra coronal lesions, the lesions of the orbit uh, are briefly uh, described along with the uh, differential diagnosis. Now, uh, secondly, I would like to thank uh, all of my colleagues in the King Edward University for helping me out, especially in, uh, in the radiology department. Uh, all my colleagues in the radiology department and in the neurosurgery department for uh, providing me with the data, providing me with the pictures and in the Montmorency College of Dentistry for uh, final editing of this book and providing me in helping uh, write the chapters uh, regarding the fractures, regarding the base of the skull and uh, <coughs> uh, still uh, this is not a textbook, uh, do not take it as a textbook, I will request all the viewers, uh, still it is, uh, um, the, the, this is just a basic sketch, uh, we have named it as uh, review notes, uh, first of all the bibliography has to be added, secondly this uh, book has to be uh, written in the uh, Vancouver style and thirdly uh, uh, regarding these uh, patent issues of uh, ISBN number, uh, this is still in process. Now. Uh, as these notes have been compiled from various sources, I request the readers uh, of this book not to take it as an ultimate reference guide and as a test that has been interpreted by the fellow uh, postgraduate residents by me. Uh, so the authenticity of this text uh, still is still may be uh, challengeable. Now uh, the last thing I will uh, like to add is that uh, the more you will uh, read about CTs and MRIs, the more uh, you will come to realize that how less we know about this subject. Thanks for watching.